Hey yo, this is your boy Lyrical Storm getting at you. This is behind the lyrics, only on lyricalstorm.com. I'm just talking the history of music, baby. Motown was from the Midwest. Babyface from Indianapolis before he went to Airstone, went down to Atlanta and made Atlanta hot with L.A. Reid and all of them. Midwest, baby. Indianapolis. Like I said, cats been biting our style. Even though a lot of places slipping. Chicago's still the mecca. People still going there. Now we got President Barack, who hometown, where he stay at where he's going to reside after another four years in office up in Chi-Town. So the Midwest been hot. Ain't nobody slipping on it. And like I said, people been biting our style. You just need to catch up on it. It's a new year. Just finished debuting my new coat, Lyrical Storm. And yes, before I make my single Made in China, I just wanted everybody to know this is not made in China. It's not made in the USA, but it's not made in China. As you can see, it's made in India. Okay, here we go. This is your boy Lyrical Storm getting at you. This is the fifth year anniversary of me having my business. Also close to the fifth year of me having my website, lyricalstorm.com. And I'm celebrating that this year by basically having this web series that I'm starting called Behind the Lyrics. Now, this is the first episode. This is not a reality show. This is just letting you know when I'm not doing my music, when I'm not writing my books, when I'm not performing, when I'm just relaxing. The a things lot that of I times do. Cats be wondering what I do when I'm not making my music, I'm not writing my books, I'm not performing, whatever. I'm just like everybody else. I'm a regular person, I do regular things. I go shopping at Kroger's. Go Kroger, spend around 50 bucks every week buying groceries. I'm trying to eat healthy. I don't know about everybody else, but I actually cook my own food. Eat a lot of meat because I work up. I work out a lot, and I need to eat meat. Keep my body high. To eat. I like weighing 225 pounds. Took me a long time to get my weight up there, and I like it. And I don't want that to change. And I like to eat all of my vegetables and fruits. Got some strawberries. Apples. Kiwis. And some bananas. And then of course everybody always got some junk food. Mine are these banquet pies. So all this should last me for about a week, or just just about a week, and then I have to replenish it. I do this every week, so. Every day, just like a regular person, you know. This is just a glimpse of letting you know how it goes down, you know. 
definitely a step above from where I was. I'm always evolving. That's one thing. My major focus in 2012 is always to evolve, become something bigger than I was last year, you know. At the year before, I was stuck in Indiana. Indiana, which where I can say from all of the people that I know, basically like dick riders. They, they on your team only when you blow up. But while they seeing you come up, they just sitting there watching, you know. So that's how it is. I'm in Ohio right now. Ohio cool, but Ohio got a lot of haters, you know. It's around the same thing. So people want to know about the belly of the beast. This Mia West is where I'm from, you know. And this is my aspect of it. And we're going to get into it right now. Khalid Kweli came to Cincinnati, performed at Fountain Square. And like I said, Cats in Ohio be haters sometimes. Everybody know Twalib Kweli is hot. Everybody know high tech is from here. This is his hometown. So they should be hype every time they come to the stage. Gotta get up for it. Stand up for it. Oh, hey. And you find out there's some haters. Like I said, it's just how it is in the game. Indiana got some dick riders. Ohio got some haters. So you gotta rise above that and do your thing. It's just how the game is. Some people change, some people evolve, some people grow. Then of course the thing is some people don't. I've been here in Cincinnati for around six years now. Cincinnati, I'm born and raised from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Independent means I'm not trying to get signed to no record label. The way that the industry is going right now, you don't really need a record label to be hot. The way that the reality stars have no talent, have shows, have millions of fans, get best-selling books, come out with CDs, and even have movie roles, you know? It's just kind of crazy right now, so you determine your success. You and all the true fans out there. Some people just follow the hype. Some people really like good music, and I definitely make good music. And if you don't know, I released my first CD back in 2008 called The Box Theory. Truly a learning experience for me when I released it. And a lot of things that I learned in making this CD. It's a 16 track album. And it was the first time I was actually on a budget making an album. So I learned a lot from just doing that. But now, since I'm an independent artist, I have my own money, my own funding to make my CD come out how exactly I want it to sound. And this CD, it's a good CD to me. It's kind of hard for me to say that, but it's definitely good. But I would say out of the 16 tracks, on a professional listening level, at least five or six of them are professional grade, and the rest of them sound exactly how it was, that I was on a budget, running out of studio time, and they could sound better. But to me, it's still a good CD on the quality that most artists only have a budget for what, maybe three or four singles that signed to a record label. So I definitely think this is still a good quality CD and I got more music on the way. But right now, my main focus is on books. Well, I take my word for it. Go on here and check out my performances right now. <laughs>
first book I ever wrote on an independent level was called Finding Love 101. I released this one even before I worked on my first music CD. Has a barcode and everything, just like my CD does. I do everything professional, go hard or go home. This book, just like my CD, is for sale for 10 bucks. And I actually started writing this back in middle school. So this is poetry from middle school all the way up to high school. I actually have three volumes of the Finding Love series, but this is the only one that I have on book form right now. I'll tell you what, when I'm relaxing on a Sunday, and they got the Celebrity Apprentice going on, you know, the series, I definitely watch it, because I'm a business-minded person. And, and speaking about business, and a lot of these clubs, hip hop clubs, especially in the Midwest, you got a lot of idiots that don't know the game go around here shooting up these clubs, then they closing, then you don't have no place to perform, you don't have no work. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of that because, you know, cats don't know the business aspect of being a musician and an artist. Then another thing is you let another out of town cat come in here, whether you made your record label or not coming here you front him money that should be going to the local artists that's here keeping the money in our own city you know it's a lot of people that don't know the game don't know how it go you know and that's a reason why some of these cities that we have a lot of hip hop stars in a lot of hip hop talent end up dying cause me I would say it's like three levels of being a musician till you get to the profession top notch level one level which is out there performing having fun you don't care about really making no money you having fun you enjoying the art then it's the struggle which is where I would say I'm at right now I'm not exactly where I would like to be but I'm doing this I'm making a little bit of money but it always can be more and of course sooner or later I'm knocking right at that door of being that professional artist not that I'm looking to be signed, I'm indie for life, baby. But still, it's a way that you can make money successfully off just that talent that you have. And those are the three levels that I believe every artist goes through. Yo, check this out. Get paper even though I don't idolize it. So called. They go to the gas station, everybody go to. Fill up before they go to the club. Then across the street over there, it's just a little shopping district, a hood shopping district that everybody go to. And then you always got the liquor store that's right over here. Everybody go to. Giving y'all a little taste of my Fort Wayne, Indiana life, my hood. Yo, check this out. Get paper even though I don't idolize it. So called real and fake show no despises. Walk by faith, not strapped, so immortalize it. But still down to pull the thing out the closet. Scary cats putting deposits on their life. But get took by a real nigga in the night. All talk, but obviously full of fright. Just catch them slippers, won't put up much of a fight. Chicks get to their head, but that would leave them dead. Same chicks deliver the price on his head. He hide in the feds, another story said. But out here, fool has no street cred. Live it, it said, it's done, get yourself hung. Hit him with that ham sandwich or the honey bun. Shouldn't have never sung, leaking to your hun. Pillow talking, leave him leaking while they still talk. Leave it at the pill.